Hello, hello, welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I am Tammy Lynn, and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith, and finishing strong in Jesus' name. Recently, the Lord has been stirring a word in my spirit, and after about two weeks, it has all finally come together, and it is ready to be released, and I'm super excited about this word. A shockwave of God's glory is coming. Recently, I was ministering an encouraging word to those who were standing for the restoration and reconciliation of their kingdom marriages. As I was ministering, the word shocked began to flow from the depths of my spirit. I became so excited by the word the Lord was telling his people. He began to tell me, a shockwave of my glory is coming. Since that day, there has not been a day that went by in which I would not continue to hear the words, a shockwave of my glory is coming. I knew God was wanting all of his people to know what he was saying, so I began to ask him what exactly he wanted his people to hear. He said, a shockwave of my glory is coming. He then took me deeper. Over the past few months, I have felt a shift in the spirit realm. I knew deep within me that we have all come to a Cairo season of seeing long-awaited promises and prayers answered that could only be done so by the hand of God. It was a time to the, see the manifestation of what the enemy has been contending against. For the past year, the Lord has repeatedly told me he would be coming with the wave of his glory that would impact families, communities, government, churches, and nations. Over the past few weeks, he has clearly decreed a shockwave of my glory is coming. He has been saying in the recent weeks and months, there is a flipping of a script, a change in stories, miraculous recoveries, unprecedented miracles, divine turnarounds, recompense, restoration, and resets coming. Family, those days are here. We are in the days of great revivals breaking out everywhere, and both God's people and the enemies of God will be shocked by the wave of his glory that will impact families, governments, communities, churches, and nations. I looked up the word shocked, studied it, and dove deep into his word to find the words he was wanting me to release to his people to you for such a time as this. He had me write down the following synonyms, excitement, encounter, amazed, astonished, stunned, blown away, impact, bombshell, eye-opener, and confusion. Just writing those words down in my time with him began a deep stirring, an excitement of the shockwave of his glory. I hope you are getting excited. I can tell you, hell is not excited and has become very confused. He led me to the story of Elijah, he showed me as in the days of Elijah, so are we in the days of miraculous recoveries and seeing people who have listened to false gods and have denied God and his ways silenced. The miracle of the fire consuming the burnt offering, the wood, the stones, the dust, and leaving no water in the trench is about to be seen in the land of the living once again. God is about to bring a shockwave of his glory upon the United States, and those who have denied him and his ways are going to experience 1 Kings 18, verse 39, as they fall on their faces acknowledging he is God. The shockwave of his glory is going to reverse walls that were set by people who were fooled by the lies of the enemy, and they will know he is all-powerful and his ways will prevail. All those who mocked the people of God who have prayed and fought for change in America to bring God back into it will be silenced as truth is exposed and their power is taken away from them. Confusion is going to hit the White House as the shockwave of God's glory begins to turn things around and expose, th expose things that have been hidden. Many who deny God and denied his ways to gain votes and popularity will be put to shame, but God will use their shame 
to turn even their hearts back to him. He began to show me his heart for the church and family. He revealed that many churches have stopped preaching truth out of fear of losing the gain in the offering bucket and the accolades of man. He said, I am going to stun those who have forgotten how to preach truth that sets my people free and draws others unto me. I am going to take back center stage again. He revealed to me that his anointing had lifted off many because they have strayed away towards the things and the ways of the world system. But the shockwave of his glory will cause leaders who strayed to come back to the altar themselves. He showed me the shockwave of his glory was filled with miracles of prodigal sons and daughters that seemed far too lost, returning to him and then to their loved ones. He showed me the shockwave of his glory was filled with miracles of restoration and reconciliation of kingdom marriages. He showed me the shockwave of his glory was filled with doctors changing their report to unexplainable. He showed me the shockwave of his glory was filled with his resurrection power of seed that had fallen to the ground and died. He said, it is harvest time, and I am answering in an Amos 9, 11 through 15 way. Hallelujah. Family, this is the time God is taking what has been run and torn down and rebuilding. Families, marriages, souls, and ministries are all going to encounter the God of Ephesians 3.20. The Lord has spoken deeply to me through Acts 12, 1 through 16, the past several weeks regarding the imprisonment of Peter and his miraculous escape. Peter had a divine intervention, a miraculous escape from prison, and then showed up at the door of people who had been praying for him. Rhoda was so stunned with excitement that rather that opened the door, she ran to tell those who were in the house praying. The others who had been praying thought Rhoda was out of her mind, but the miracle was still knocking at the door. So they opened the door and was astonished, amazed, and blown away by surprise. It was a too good to be true moment. Verse 16 in the Passion Translation says, when they finally opened it, they were shocked to find Peter standing there. The Lord says, I have heard my people pray, but the way I'm going to answer them will cause them to be amazed with a too good to be true, and I will stun them with my glory. They will testify of my glory in their miraculous recoveries, in their changed stories, and others will come to know me through the joy they spread of the good news that I have done for them. This shockwave of my glory will change them forever and those around them. He took me back to over a year ago when I discovered the song by Brandon Lake, Show Me Your Glory. I began worshiping to this song daily. I would be crying out for him to show me his glory. I cried out for others to see his glory. I was so hungry for revival and I was wanting to experience him in deeper ways. He revealed to me there has been a mighty army that has also been crying out for his glory. He said, I have heard my people and I'm answering not just with a wave of my glory, but a shock wave. I am turning tears of pain into tears of too good to be true. I am giving them back their land. This wave of my glory is filled with recompense, restoration, miracles, divine reversals, divine resets, miraculous recoveries, flipping of the script, and resurrection of buried seed. Family, be expecting all glory to God. Until next time, people of God, shalom.